Boom! So this is basically everything you need to know about Year 8 of Rainbow Six Siege. Starting off with Season 1, we are getting a Brazilian operator named Brava. She has a Capybara on her strap. She's a 3-speed, 1-armor operator. Her primaries are the Para or Bucks DMR thing. Her secondaries are the Super Shorty and the Useless 40. And her utility is Smokes or Claymores. And her primary gadget is a drone that can hack and destroy enemy gadgets. So when she hacks a defender's gadget, they basically just switch sides. So she can hack and control Maestro's evil eyes and shoot the place up, control Echo's drone and deny defuse, or she can... And certain gadgets will just get destroyed when she shoots them, like a bandit charge. One of her counters is Mozzie. He can hack her drone and then hack attacker claymores or nomads and so on. Next, Mousetrap. Next, we have Mousetrap. Mousetrap is basically just anti-cheat for Zim users on console. Huge W for console. Mousetrap has been running in the shadows now for several seasons, and if you've been spoofing, then... No, I'm joking. There's still hope for you, bro. Just stop using a Zim. Ubisoft said that instead of banning spoofers, they're going to be adding extra latency to your inputs that will gradually get worse the more you play with a mouse and keyboard on console. Suffer. Reload rework. So reload canceling will no longer be a thing in year eight, season one. So when you pull your mag out of your gun, your gun will go to zero bullets if you were completely empty or one bullet in the chamber if you still had ammo in your mag. You won't be able to sprint and reload cancel to put your mag back in. And like, to be honest, at first I was like, yo, what the f***? Like, why are you doing that? But like, after thinking about it for a bit, I'm like, yo, this is kind of a W. So no more hearing somebody reload, rushing them instantly, and then getting magged up not one second after hearing the reload. Zero change. Zero's ability will no longer pierce through the wall after shooting it. You will have to manually do this, which is a great change in my opinion, because this gadget used to just be horrendous because people would hear you shoot it into the wall and then just instantly clap it. Recoil buffs. Muzzle break is going from a 45% first shot recoil reduction to 50%, and compensator is going from a 15% horizontal recoil reduction to 35%. 5%, which is going to be really nice for operators such as Ella. Battle Pass update. So if you finish all 100 tiers in your Battle Pass, you'll get what's called Bravo Pack tickets, which will give you the opportunity to just browse and unlock whatever you want, which is kind of crazy. Year 8 Season 2. For Season 2, we're going to be getting a Swedish operator, a consulate rework, and a permanent arcade. We don't have any footage or info on the Swedish operator, but I'll play all the footage from the consulate rework that was shown off right now. Consulate, and we are making big, big changes to oh, it. Oh, that's a wall instead of a this window? Of yeah, that's pretty nice. We had to oh, that's it beautiful. From the ground up, the uh, way that the bomb sites behave, the variety in the ways that you can attack it or defend it. Dude. Also, another really important thing too is for attackers to have a safe avenue to approach the building. Ooh. All of this is is Ooh. Two. The world team has been working. And apparently consulate was completely redone, so W. They're also adding permanent arcade, which looks to be five modes right now, but Yubi said. And when it launches, we'll probably add a little extra to it as well. Coca-Cola. And last but not least, well, maybe least. We're getting a frost rework, where when enemy players get caught in one of your welcome mats, they can now get themselves out of it on their own. But they won't be able to run and will leave a huge blood trail behind them so that frost can, like, track them. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's kind of cool, but I know a lot of people don't f*** with that, so yeah, let me know what you think. Year 8, Season 3. In Season 3, we're getting a South Korean operator and a casual rework, where I think they're just, like, making it more casual and, like, faster paced and, like, games faster. We're also getting a new observation blocker gadget, which is a defender gadget that sets up a wall that attacker drones cannot see past. In season four, we're going to Portugal and getting a new map. Alongside the new map, we're getting a new shield rework, where your gun in hand will be behind your shield at all times, even while you're reloading, but not when you're aiming down sights. And you'll also be able to free look while using your shield. Other features for year eight include QB, which is basically just to reduce the occurrences of cheating and to make the production of cheats a lot more expensive. And we have Mousetrap, which I spoke about earlier. Suffer. Controller players will also be getting these control presets available to them and key mapping, which is a huge W. You guys can now lean without having to aim. It only took them eight years. Gadget deployment and pickup is getting reworked so that it's a lot more reliable and smoother and faster. We're getting new target modes in the shooting range where you can shoot bots, Valorant. It looks like you can also change the settings and make them strafe and move, Valorant. And also this aim labs thing, which is a really good update and we're getting that in year eight, season two. Beginner challenges that will be dropping in season one and playable tutorials that will be dropping in season three. And last but not least, we're getting a new Defender AI playlist in season four of year eight. The Defender AI is mainly going to be for beginners or role players like myself. We're spawn peeking, we're spawn peeking, we're spawn peeking. But yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Like the AI is fed player data. So they'll like set up sites and reinforce them, set up rotates and other cool shiz. They're also bringing back the year pass, which will provide you with all four battle passes for the year, along with a 10% shop discount all year round, a 14 day early access to new operators and an exclusive ace bundle. And there's also a year eight premium pass, which will get you everything in the year eight pass, but with 20 battle pass tokens per season and an exclusive Thunderbird bundle to go with Ace. And you can buy both passes next Monday for a limited time.